Then I have my tax account. Okay, this is where I hold all the taxes. So when I get the commission check, it goes into my holding account and then I calculate. What's up guys? Today we're gonna get into how much I put back for taxes every single commission check and do I use the LLC and is it an s core? What's up everybody? Welcome back, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm Ricky Carruth with Remax of Orange Beach and ZeroToDiamond.com, the only free real estate coaching program out there where we're reducing the failure rate in the real estate industry one agent at a time. That can be found at ZeroToDiamond.com. Today I wanna to talk about what I do with each commission check, how much I put back for taxes, do I work everything through LLC, is it LLC and s core, and all that good stuff, because I get this question a whole lot. So. I just wanna dive right into it. Before I dive into it though, I'm gonna give you guys just a second to hit that like button for me. And also, if you guys are in the Miami or Los Angeles area, I will be there in LA, January 5th, Miami, January 21st, speaking at events. So there'll be links in the description for you to get tickets and all that good stuff to those events. And just reach out if there's anything I can do for you there. Okay, so taxes for real estate agents. I get this question a lot, like I said. People are asking me how much I put back. Uh, do I go through an LLC? Is it an s core? And all the typical you know, real estate questions, how you handle your business. Because at the end of the day, we are running a business. Uh, this is a real business. A lot of people get into real estate never ran a business before, they don't realize the, the depth of, of how much of a business this really is. You don't just show up, sell a property, make money. You actually have to manage the business like it's supposed to be managed. So uh, I did it wrong for a long time. Um, I finally ran into a CPA that kind of started leading me in the right direction. I changed CPAs again. The next CPA even led me into a better direction than I was with the one that I thought was even leading me in a good direction in the first place. So I've, I've made a lot of mistakes, so hopefully I can help you there. Um, I'm not a CPA, nowhere close to a CPA. I, I absolutely should not be asked any CPA questions or anything like that because to be honest with you, a lot of that is almost like a foreign language to me. But the basics of what I do with my commission checks and how I handle everything with the bank accounts and the LLC and all that stuff, you know, very basic and I can't answer those questions. And hopefully that gives you a foundation for what you should be doing. And, and then you can kind of, the more detailed questions you can get with your CPA and kind of figure out a game plan for your specific situation and just kind of go from there. And every year is going to be different. You know, as you make more money, as you start to create more business and do more sales, you know, everything's gonna change over time. As you make more money, you'll be in higher tax brackets and your game plan will change as you go along. So you always have to be, you know, adjusting and adapting. Um, you know, then tax laws change. There's all kinds of stuff out there. Um, Write-offs, uh, some years, you know, one thing's a write-off, the next year it's not. So there's a lot of stuff, it's always changing. And that's what we have a CPA for, to help us through all these changes and, and help us navigate those waters to try to put us in the best you know, tax liability situation as possible. So the first question I'm gonna answer is about the LLC and the, and the s core, my bank accounts and stuff. And then I'm gonna tell you how much I put back every single check uh, in a separate account just for taxes. I don't touch it, I just pretend like it's not there and I operate everything off what's left. So. I do have an LLC. Um, I have three LLCs because I'm running three businesses, okay? I'm running my real estate business, which is an LLC that I get all my commissions through, okay? Then I have a, a property buy and hold, sell, flip uh, business, okay? That's where I'm buying properties. I may have rentals that, I've, that I'll own for the rest of my life. I may have properties I'll buy today and flip tomorrow. I may have things I'll hold on to for a year. So that's that business. And then I have the real estate coaching business, the zerododiamond.com LLC. So I have three LLCs, three separate entities, three businesses, commissions, buy and sell and hold real estate, and real estate coaching. And so I have different accounts for all three of these LLCs. Let's talk about, and all of them are S-Cores, okay? The S-Core for me, the way that I understand it, 
is it, it saves you on social security taxes. Okay, because if you take that income personally, then you're gonna owe social security on that money. Okay, if you can shelter it in the s core to where you don't have to pay that social security taxes, okay, but you still have to pay yourself out of the LLC, so you will get um, tax for the social security through whatever income you pay yourself. And so your CPA will help you come up with a game plan to figure out how much you need to pay yourself based on how much you made overall. Okay, there's, there's calculations and equations to all that stuff to, to help you come out the best. So I've got three LLCs, they are S cores. Okay, so let's talk about the real estate commission uh, LLC when I get a commission check. Okay, so when I close on a property that I represented the buyer or seller, it has to go through my real estate company, okay, Remax of Orange Beach. So the title company, once it's closed, they write a check from the title company to Remax of Orange Beach for the commission. Remax of Orange Beach then takes that check of the gross commissions and then they give me my cut, okay? My cut's 95% of that, of that commission. So they're gonna take 95% and they're gonna write that check to me in the LLC. So they're gonna write the commission check out to the LLC. I'm then gonna take that check, deposit it into the LLC account. Okay, so I have, a, I have several accounts with the one LLC. I have the holding account, which is where all the money goes into and piles up. I have the operating account, where I take money out of here as I need it for my business. Okay, then I have my personal account and I feed my personal account with, with this holding account as well. Okay, then I have my tax account. Okay, this is where I hold all the taxes. So when I get the commission check, it goes into my holding account, and then I calculate 30%. I put back 30% every check for taxes. Okay, um, I used to put 25% back, and that was good for a while until I got to the bigger tax bracket. And now 30 for the past couple years has been a pretty safe bet. Um, I want to kind of go a little bit, you know, higher than what it probably is. That way I have a little cushion in there. You know, I don't want to have less and have to come out of my pocket of what I thought was operating money to pay taxes. I want all the tax money to be there for sure. And if something's left over in that account, that's fine. We'll just roll that over to the next year and just keep putting back, keep paying taxes, and just kind of keep playing that game. Um, you know, until I get to another place in my life where maybe I retire and, you know, I may do something different there at that point with whatever's in the tax account or whatever's left over, or whatever that cushion is at that point. But for now, it sits in a, a, an account. It's an interest bearing account. I do draw interest on it and it sits there until I'm ready to pay taxes. I pay my taxes quarterly. So the year before I get quarterly you know, invoices from a CPA. He estimates, it's an estimated payment based on last year's income. He gives you an estimate. Uh, he gives you four vouchers, actually eight, four for the, for the IRS, four for the state. Alabama has state income taxes. So I'm gonna write a, a check four times a year to the IRS and four to the state of Alabama to pay those quarterly taxes. So that's kind of a breakdown of, of how I handle it every time I get a paycheck. Um, I give 30% back. You know, also a side note, 1% of all my commissions goes to the Children's Miracle Network. I've been doing that for forever, for a really long time. So 1% of my gross commissions earns goes to charity. And that's about it. That's how I handle, you know, my money when it comes in. Then I take that 70%. It comes, it starts in the holding account, and then it gets it gets moved over into accounts as I need money so i may need to feed my coaching business llc or i may need to feed my my property buy sell and hold business you know at different times if i'm buying properties and and so on and so forth so that's a breakdown of the basics of taxes for real estate agents how i handle my business um, i hope it helped you kind of give you a little 
you know, inside look at the basics, you know, of what I do. And maybe that'll help you make a couple decisions or at least bring up a couple questions in your mind for your CPA to help you come up with the best plan for you to manage your taxes. So if you made it this far and you want to see more of these videos, I'm putting out four videos a week strictly for real estate agents to help build your business. So go ahead and click subscribe if you haven't already and visit my free coaching program at zero2diamond.com. We'll talk to you guys soon.